Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to customize the style of Contact Form 7 to match your website. Here's a look at the final product that I'll be creating using the different tips in today's tutorial. By default, Contact Form 7 does not style its forms, and so as you can see, my form currently looks very basic. Now before we begin the edit, it's worth mentioning that you do not want to add your custom CSS to the style sheet of Contact Form 7 or your parent theme. And the reason for this is that once you update your theme or plugin, you're going to lose all of those changes you made. So instead, you'll want to add the CSS to your child theme, or you can use the custom CSS feature on Jetpack, or you can do what I'm doing and actually use Use the themes built in CSS editor. I'm using the WordPress 2016 theme, which has this feature. Not every theme does, but if you do have it, it works great. And in this scenario, I can actually get live updates as I edit. By the way, all the code that I'm using in today's tutorial is available in the blog post linked in the video description. As you can see, I already placed a commented out heading here. This just indicates that everything beneath this has to do with contact form seven. So let's get started here with some general edits that will apply themselves to the whole form. We're going to use class select dot WP CF seven and, and don't be intimidated by that that just literally means WordPress contact form seven I'll open this up here and just to get started I'll do a background color I'll make this gray and I'm also gonna add a border here of five pixels we'll make it solid and we'll do a little bit of gray now things are starting to look good but we definitely need to address the spacing issue right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do another WP CF seven but this time we're gonna do a dash form now inside of this, we're going to do some margins. So we'll do margin left and we'll make that for 25 pixels. Do margin right, do that for 25 pixels and margin top for 25 pixels. That looks way better. And of course you can change 25 to whatever you want. But in this scenario, I think 25 is the perfect number. Now let's add some code to adjust the width of the field. So dot WPCF seven. And with this, I'll do dash text area, which is going to make changes to this big message box right here. And if I open this up and define a width of, let's just say 85%, you'll see it make a change right away. Now it doesn't have to be a percent. It could also be pixels, but whatever you desire, you can go with. Now let's change the width of these fields right here. They're inputs. So we'll do dot WPCF seven and we'll do input and define that width to be 50%. And there we go. That looks a lot better. So with all this code added and the page published, if I go and check the contact page, there you go. All of the styles that we just added are here and active. Keep in mind that every form from here on out that you make will follow this style. But if you want to have a different style for a specific form, then you'll need to find the full CSS ID of the form. We'll have to actually use Google Chrome's inspect element feature, or you could use something similar in another browser. Let's look at the code and try to find the specific ID. If you look at form action, you'll see WPCF seven dash F four dash P 29 dash O one. That right there is our full ID. You just double click it and you could actually copy it. Now that we have this form specific ID, we can actually leave all of this code here. It won't matter because we're only going to be editing this form specifically. So as you can see, I'm just going to add a funky color here just to really illustrate. There we go. We still have all this code up here defining the background color to be a gray, but since we're looking at a specific form, we can actually make different changes. So this form will be green, but every other form will be gray like this one here. We can actually do the same thing with specific fields. So instead of tracking down a specific CSS class or ID in your browser, all you have to do is add it in the form builder. Now I'm on the form builder. I'm going to hit text and I'm going to make an ID called customized dash field. You can also create a class. I'll insert this tag. And if I check the contact page, here's the field I just generated. And now in the CSS, I can actually call for the customize dash field and I'll do something crazy. I'll do a 10 pixel solid border. And there we go. Now this field has a very large border, but the beauty of it is that it only is going to affect this field. It doesn't affect any of the fields up here. Now our form is looking a lot better, but before I go, I want to give you a quick bonus tip on how to remove field titles and use placeholder text instead in the actual contact form. We're going to get rid of all of the labels, just literally remove them by removing all of our labels and checking back. You'll see there's nothing there now. Now I'm just going to add some text here. I'm going to write placeholder and then in quotes, I'm going to put name. 
and I'll go through and do this for each of them. Now all of the labels are gone and placeholders were added to each field. Let's check out what happens. And that's perfect. Now we just saved ourselves a lot of space. It looks a lot cleaner. And overall, this is a very professional looking form. So there you have it. As you can see, Contact Form 7 is highly customizable and quite simple to work with. Don't forget, if you want the code that I used in today's tutorial, just go to the video description and click the link in the blog post. If this video helped you out at all, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and also follow us on all of our social social networks to know when we release new content. With that said, thanks for watching. Have a great day.